Major candidates looking to replace retiring Missouri Senator Roy Blunt crossed paths today at the State Fair. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley was the only TV reporter in Sedalia today as the two squared off. She joins us now live from there. Emily. Mandy, Republican Attorney General Eric Schmidt and Democrat Trudy Bush Valentines shook hands here today at the Missouri State Fair in Sedalia. And then they went off swinging. Farmers are hurting right now, there's no doubt about it. Inflation, fuel costs, that's what you hear when you're talking to real people and those are some of the things we need to address in Washington, no doubt. And I will not be bought by big businesses or anybody else. I'm doing this to serve, not for ego, not for power, and not for money. A summertime staple for politics and the Missouri State Fair became the first real meeting place for two U.S. Senate candidates. You know, she wished me congratulations. I said the same on winning her primary. With agriculture as the center of attention, Schmidt and Bush Valentine both gave their pitches why they're the best chance for the Missouri farmer. And I'm not for the big monopolies that t are taking over all these farms, and I'm not for selling our farmland to uh, foreign countries, and that's what my opponent has been about. I think, look, you look at the record, I mean, she came out in support of this uh, inflation boosting bill, and it's and part of that is the, the Green New Deal, which will be a disaster for agriculture. Attending the governor's ham breakfast for the final time as a U.S. Senator, Roy Blunt also took the opportunity to announce he's endorsing Schmidt. Not surprising, but noteworthy, since conservative GOP candidate John Wood is running as an independent in November. You know, I've spent a lot of time with him over the last 10 years. I think he'll be a fine member of the Senate, and I look forward to doing all I can to help him get there over the next few a few months. Now, voters will head to the polls in about 11 weeks for the general election. Independent candidate John Wood did not attend the governor's breakfast this morning. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Sedalia, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.